Hi, welcome or welcome back to this Pandas Tip series, where we talk about functions and methods in Pandas and ways that you can level up your Python code. I'm Kimberly Fessel, and if you're not already subscribed, be sure to go ahead and do that so that you can be alerted the next time I post in this Pandas Tip series. Today, we're gonna be talking about the as type method. This will allow you to convert between different data types for your Pandas objects. You can follow along with all of the code I'm about to show you by visiting my GitHub page under the Pandas Tips section. So let's get started. Since we're working with the Pandas library, we'll import that and alias it as PD. And I also just wanted to let you know my Pandas version is 2.1.1. Let's start off by creating some data so that we can try out the as type method. So I have data dict, which is just a cost and a sales price. And I'm gonna put that into a data frame. Here's what that data frame looks like. I have three different costs as well as three sales prices. And one thing to note about this information, I have all integer numbers. That is, there are no decimal places in any of the numbers I entered into my data frame. I can verify that I have all integers by taking a look at something called D types. So let's go ahead and check that out. I have my data frame and then I write D types, which is a property of this data frame. With that, I see that cost is an integer and so is sale price. But what happens if you'd like to change the data type for either of these columns? To change the data type of an entire data frame, you can use the as type method. Just specify your data frame, write as type, and then in the parentheses, you'll say what type you'd like to convert to. In this case, let's change our integers into floating point numbers. I can execute that, and now you'll see that each of those numbers now has a decimal point, which means that they are floats instead of integers. And let's verify that to be sure. We can copy this code, put it down the next line, and then write D types after it. So this is asking, what are my data types after I do this conversion? And yes, I have floats for both the cost and the sale price. So if you try as type on a data frame itself, that means you're trying to convert every column into whatever data type you supply in the parentheses. But what if you'd like to change the data type of one particular column only? Here's that data again. So I haven't actually made any underlying changes to my data frame. I still have integers at this point. Let's say we'd like to change the sale price column, but not the cost column. I can go down here to my data frame and just access the sale price column. And its current data type is integer. But we can update that into floating point numbers if we'd like. We can apply the as type method to a series instead of a data frame. So here's my sale price series and I'll say as type. And now I'm gonna say that I'd like to convert this series into a float. Now I did one different thing this time around. Before I was saying float as a string, and this time I'm using float, the keyword that represents an actual float in pandas. You can use either. If I execute that, now you'll see the sale price series has been converted into floating point numbers. And we can verify all of that if I go ahead and copy this line of code, Paste it down here and try the D types. Here you see we have floats instead of integers. So as type works on either data frames or series objects. Ready to level up? Well, what happens if you want to convert one column to one data type and another column to a different data type? You can do that with something called the mapper. Here's a look at the Python code that will allow you to do that. Just like other pandas methods, like rename, which I just did a video on last week, you can pass a mapper to as type. That mapper will have the form column name as the key of the dictionary, and then the new data type should be the value of the mapper dictionary. Let's try it out. Here's our current data frame, and we just have integer values for both the cost and the sale price. Let's say that we'd like to just update the sale price column. So I'll reference my data frame, I'll apply as type, and note here that I'm applying as type to the full data frame rather than just one series. Now I'm gonna pass in the mapper. I'll say that I want to operate on the sale price column, and I want to convert that into floating point numbers. Great, so you can see the return object here is a data frame, the cost still has integer numbers, and the sale price has been updated to floats. We can verify that all of that has happened correctly by copying and pasting this code and adding D types. Cost is still an int and the sale price is now a float. So you may see where we're going with this. If you can update one column with a mapper, you can probably update multiple columns with various different data types 
using a map or dictionary. Let's try that now. I'm going to add two more columns to my data frame. The first is a column called discount, and the second is a column called in stock. Now taking a look at my data frame, you'll see those two new columns. Here's a look at our data types right now. Cost is still an integer and so is sale price. Discount is an object or contains strings. And then in stock is considered an integer. So let's update some of these data types with as type. We're still going to reference the data frame and the as type method. I'm going to go ahead and give myself some room here. I'm going to be creating a mapper dictionary, but I'm going to have multiple different column names. So first I want to continue updating the sale price and this will become a float. But now I also want to update the discount column. That should become a Boolean and the in stock column will become a Boolean as well. So this is going to allow me to change multiple different columns at once to multiple different data types at once. Let's execute this cell and see what happens. Here's my resulting data frame. And as you can see, the cost is still an integer. The sale price is now a float, and it looks like discount and in stock have been converted to Boolean value. But let's double check everything. If I copy this code, I'll go ahead and put that down here, and we'll check D types. Awesome. I have integers for cost, floating point numbers for my sale price, and both discount and in stock have been converted to Booleans. So as type is an excellent method to be able to cast between various different data types. One thing you might have noticed is that throughout this entire experience, we haven't actually changed the underlying data types of our data frame. We still have integers for cost and sale price and discount and in stock are not Booleans yet. As type currently does not have an in place option like some of the other methods that we've looked at. So what you could do if you wanted to make these changes permanent, you could just overwrite your data frame with your converted data types. And then if we take a look at the data types, these would reflect those changes. Thanks so much for joining me today to learn all about the as type method. If you'd like to learn more about data types, D types, and the as type method, you can take a look at this book called Pandas in Action by Boris Paskover. This book is great because it does exactly what it says it's going to do. It shows you pandas in action, actually using pandas on real life problems. I'll put a link to that book, which is in my Amazon storefront, in the description bar below. I do earn a small commission for any purchases you make, so thanks so much for supporting this channel. I hope you learned a lot today, and I'll see you in the next one. Ready to level up? Well, maybe. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining this channel. Mm -hmm.